LC, we're going to wait till T minus one minute and 40 seconds. If we don't get a green, we're going to go into an abort. LC, this is LC. This is this is RCO. The range is now green. Radmon is uh, back up and recycled, so we're in our we are green. Stopping log stop sequence. Carpel count continues, passing through T minus two minutes and 23 seconds. Configuring ground lock system for liftoff. RF power on. Current draw verified. Battery chargers off. T minus one minute forty seconds. LD verify SpaceX is green. SpaceX is green. Switching to range RF source. Telemetry verified. Internal auto sequence started. Closing in on T minus one minute twenty seconds. RCO verify range is green. This is the RCO. The range is green. We are in internal power. Pre valve heater stopped. Antenna heater stopped. Initiating vehicle auto sequence. Pass through T minus one minute. Vehicle is in auto sequence. UVC check complete. Fuel trim valve actuator is set. Turn off helium bubble. Minus 30 seconds. First stage tank pressing. Water to the flame duct. Water deluge is on. Stabilized. Second stage tank pressing. State pressure verified. Vehicles being pressurized to flat pressure. Second stage tank stabilized. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one. Ignition. T zero. Plus one. Plus two. Plus three. We have liftoff of the SpaceX Falcon One carrying Rosicsat satellite for ATSB. Falcon One has cleared the tower. Vehicles begun moving down range. Vehicles currently traveling uh, point two, uh, 27 meters per second at 0.2 kilometers above the pad. Power system's nominal. First stage propulsion's nominal. Guns nominal. Approaching Mach 1. Vehicles in the transonic region about to go supersonic. T plus one minute. This is max Q, maximum dynamic pressure. This is the period of greatest Precision stress on the vehicle structure. Vehicle currently has a velocity of 500 meters per second at an altitude of 15 kilometers. Past max Q. See the plume plus getting one minute 40 seconds, darker. velocity 830 meters per second at an altitude of 30 kilometers. And blacker as we get to higher rarefied atmosphere. First stage propulsion still performing nominally. Vehicle is currently traveling 1,300 meters per second at an altitude of 38 kilometers. Vehicle 
Inertial guidance. Vehicles trimming out Alpha in preparation for Miko. There'll be a five second delay between main engine cutoff and stage separation. Then four more seconds before second stage ignition. There's Miko. First stage Miko. Stage separation. And Kestrel Stage ignition. Separation confirmed. Second stage ignition confirmed. Okay, the stages have separated. The second stage is ignited. The second stage is currently traveling 2,800 meters per second at an altitude of 108 kilometers. Approaching fairing separation. Coming up to fairing sep. Camera move to forward view. Separation confirmed. We've had a clean uh, video's a bit set. choppy, but Both the halves looked equal. Second stage propulsion performance. Fairing is came off beautifully. Guidance nominal. You'll see the stiffening bands fall off the Kestrel nozzle in a minute. The design T plus fall off three minutes forty there seconds. The vehicle is traveling three thousand meters per second at an altitude of one hundred and fifty kilometers. Good telemetry lock on both stages. The Kestrel engine fires for over six minutes on the way to orbit. The vast majority of the acceleration occurs minutes. in this phase. The vehicle is traveling 3,000 meters per second at an altitude of 172 kilometers. Power system's nominal. I should point out that second stage propulsion is I should nominal. point out that we may lose Guns video nominal. and telemetry just prior to second stage shutdown, depending on T plus the vagaries of upper atmosphere RF propagation. Velocity and altitude are nominal at 3,200 meters per second at an altitude of 196 kilometers. But that's another four and a half minutes from now. Telemetry lock still good. Second stage propulsion performing nominally. Guidance nominal. We are still seeing nominal flight. T plus five minute thirty seconds. Current velocity thirty six hundred meters per second at an altitude of two hundred and thirty kilometers. At 230 kilometers altitude, Falcon 1 is currently well in beyond the official boundary of space at 100 kilometers. Currently three minutes into the second stage burn, passing through T plus six minutes. Velocity 3,800 meters per second at an altitude of 243 kilometers. Both are above nominal. Propulsion is performing nominally on the second stage. T plus six minutes, 30 seconds. Velocity, 4150 meters per second. Altitude, 255 kilometers. We are about two and a half minutes from Seco. Propulsion's performing nominally. T plus seven minutes. Current velocity, 4,400 meters per second at an altitude of 260 kilometers. Power system still nominal. Guidance is nominal.